Hey guys, welcome back with another video on our channel Learn with Gigs. In today's video, I will discuss with you how we can create a dynamic date table. So in the interview, in the Power BI interviews, you may be asked, create a dynamic date table. So at that moment only you have to create a dynamic date table. So you have to write it in the chat or you have to uh, write the DAX in the notepad. So how you can create it and how you can create it uh, with the optimized DAX functions. Uh, so today I will discuss with you that only. So I have already uploaded few parts in the in this video series. Part five was the last was the last one that I uploaded. So today's one is part six. So please go and check out the first five parts. The link I will provide in the description box and then come to this video. So let's start. And if you are new to this channel, please like and subscribe to stay updated with all my videos. Okay. So now let's see how we can create this dynamic date table using these three functions that I have mentioned here: calendar, generate, and row. And that will be the very optimized way of creating a dynamic date table. Okay. Now let's see how we can create it practically. So for that, since it's a table, what we will do, we'll go to the data tab view first, and then we'll create, we'll click on this new table. Okay. Because it's a table, right? So whenever it is a table, we go to the data view tab and click on this new table icon here that is present. Okay. So this is our calendar table, right? So we'll mention it as uh, calendar underscore table okay so how we should proceed with this first of all let me uh, create some space here okay so that it will be visible for you properly okay because I will be making use of uh, variables here okay so <clears throat> uh, first one is let me take very simple names uh, like I will I will go with ABCD only let's uh, type it as where where a and give it a value as calendar function. We'll make use of calendar function here. Calendar function. Okay. And now, as you can see here, calendar function takes two arguments start date and end date. Okay. So, what will be the start date? For now, since we are creating some random uh, dynamic table, so we'll take at a particular date. For example, we'll take uh, 1st January 2018 as our starting date. So, uh, we'll take a date function here, okay, and in date function, we'll uh, mention it as 2018,01,01, okay, so this is our starting date, okay, and the ending date should be today's date, right, so the end date should be given as like this, date function here first, and then uh, year function, okay, so year function, and in year function will give date as today okay so that it it will become dynamic then we'll go with month okay give again today close it and then give it as day okay and then again today close the bracket so this so this will give us the end date okay so now what i will do i will return okay what i will return return will be i will make use of shift enter i will make use of generate function here okay why i am using generate function you will get to know okay so generate function so uh, it takes two arguments table 1 and table 2 the second this, the second table expression will be the will be evaluated for each row in the first table okay for each row of the first table the second table expression will be evaluated okay so this is the function of uh, this is these are the two arguments of generate function so the first argument will be table 1 that will be a variable a because it is a it contains a table of dates right so this is the first argument and for table 2 what we will do we will create another variable variable b equal to and we'll assign this uh, date because this date is the name of the date column that will be formed when we will finally create this date table or calendar table okay so now we'll create another variable variable c equal to and i will make use of year function here so that we can get the year of the date what is the date this is the date close the bracket okay now variable d in D, what I will do, I will take the month out of it, month of the date, close the bracket, then variable E, 
okay variable e what i will do i will take the day okay day of the date okay okay so uh, as of now i have not given the table expression that is required for the generate function okay so what i will do i will now create the table 2 i will generate the table expression as the table 2 here what for that what i will do so for that what i will do i will return i will return a row function here and as you can see here i am using nested var and return here okay and you will get to know why we are get, why i am using this nested return uh, where and return statements here okay so what i will return i will return row function here row function what if it, what it will do it will give the name uh, name as year so now for year what will be the year name year will be year year we have given using uh, a variable c right so we'll pick the variable c here and then the month month number that we have created using d right and then we have day right so for day we have created variable as e right close the bracket for row function here close close the bracket for generate function okay so now we can verify also year c year c month d month d and day e okay so what it will do it will generate for every row of first table that is this calendar table it will also create these three variables these three columns for every record of the first table okay now press the enter key and let's see what does the table show okay so our calendar table is created now let me zoom out So now you can see here we have calculated we have a date which starts uh, uh, okay this is the so this is some random date so we have a, we should have a starting date as 2018 right so let me sort it okay so so our first date is 1st January 2018 as we have decided as we have uh, mentioned it here so it should start from 1st january 2018 so uh, the year has come uh, has come out to be 2018 month number is 1 and day is the one okay so in this way you what you have created you have created a date table which will last from the date that you have uh, decided to the uh, latest current date that is today's date and we have a year we have a month number we have a day so as of now i have created only three columns year month number day you can create much more for example weekday week number and uh, quarter so all those columns also you can generate what you have to do you have to just increase the variables here few more variables and give quarter or uh, take out the weekday or week number and just include it in this row function here okay so you will get the overall calendar that you want for our to be used in the data model okay so this is a very optimized way of creating a calendar where we have made use of calendar function generate function and row function to get the required result okay so uh, i hope it is clear to you and if you will if you will make this calendar table once or twice in your projects it will be much uh, it will be much clearer to you and you will feel much more comfortable while creating calendar tables okay so i hope you like the content and it is clear to you whatever i have explained here and so please share it with your friends too and stay tuned for the upcoming videos thank you